Hi guys. It is just another gray, gloomy day here in the end times or the collapse of global industrial civilization. I should be saying on this channel here on this uh, stormy, it is Thursday afternoon. That would be March 10th, 2022. So me and the little dog, we have been sitting here for a fucking hour waiting for Sancho to get uh, his blood work. We're checking his blood work on his damn... Uh, he supposedly has Lyme's disease. I mean, this might be the... I do have Sancho. For the heartworm test? Yeah. Hi, baby! So, Hi. you just, you just want to... I mean, I'm, I'm glad to come in. Oh, I can just take him in really quick. And but but anyway, what we're you know what we're doing also is he tested positive back in December for Lyme's disease and some other tick thing, and I just want to sure. confirm that. And if he really does have those, what that really is supposed to mean? Sure. You just gonna bring him back here? Yeah. All right. So some little cutie is Sancho has run off. I'm with some little cutie. I figured when I started this rant. So anyway, we're dealing here, sitting here dealing with this shit, trying to figure out what's going on with this fucking dog. What a fucking day. So uh, <laughs> I got uh, uh, awakened in the middle of the night in my own bed last night with rain pouring over my head and uh the little dog and I fled out to my camper and uh, good lord, what a fucking mess. So after fleeing in the middle of the night to get away from the tornado going on inside my other bedroom, so I wake up and the first thing that I find out is uh charging up my fucking cell phone uh the charger but it's not the charger it's the phone i've run two different chargers on it so now the fucking 700 hundred dollar smartphone which is what four or five months old uh is no longer connecting to the cable so i'm about to lose that fucking phone then I go on to my $1,600 laptop to make a Skype call since I didn't want to run down the battery of that. She is already back. That was quick. All right, it takes about 10 minutes for that heart room test to run. And then when we get those results, if there's anything positive on there, I'll come let you know. All right, but you're just going to come holler at me yes, and then sir. I'll come in there. All right, see you in 10 minutes. So, uh, good guide. So, uh, how so long did you survive being stuck? Oh, Jesus. So, uh, dealing with that shit. So, I cannot make a, a cell phone call because I'm losing my battery. I cannot make a Skype call from using my main computer so two out of three of my phones are dead so thank god I have the two hundred dollar little piece of shit backup I have that I'm actually being able to use uh, the phone so I'm, I'm on the goddamn I'm on support on Skype support which is a uh, contradiction in terms I spent two and a half fucking hours on Skype support in Microsoft. They send me to three different technicians trying to figure out how to, it's the microphone that's, uh, I can hear the other people fine. Uh, and, and the Skype works on my other computer. Two and a half fucking hours they spent with me doing every possible thing they can do. And they said the only thing left especially since everything is working fine with your other computer. Uh, they even, you, you know, took it back several days. Uh, you know how they take your computer back to when we knew it was working. Everything under the book. 
they said, well, obviously it is literally the microphone inside your expensive computer that is dead. And I just said, fuck it, I, I've got this other one. So I'm two and a half fucking hours dealing with that fucking bullshit. Uh, dealing with this goddamn weather. Uh, my goddamn bed is, 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 is fucking soaked. Uh, just another fucking day in the end times. And so then, uh, in the middle of all this, uh, so the phone rings and who it is is this old man uh, up there next door to this lot uh, out in the swamp that I just bought. And so I sent, I had sent this letter off to this old man asking if he wanted to sell his uh, piece of ground and he called back. And so uh, in the middle of everything going crazy today, uh, I ended up buying another piece of uh, swampland in, uh, in uh, the great state of Florida. So now I own two acres. Uh, it's actually not in the swamp. I'm thrilled to say for the first time in my life I have bought uh, a piece of ground not on a floodplain. So uh, assuming it all goes through and he acts like there's no reason it shouldn't, uh, I am owning, uh, I now have two lots here in the Oasis of Freedom, so I actually own more than three times as much land as I just sold uh, th that I've bought back for uh, two-thirds of the price I sold uh, my swamp land for. Anyway, been a crazy fucking day just trying to figure out all of this shit and uh Who's that little dog? Sitting here getting ready to get my first tank of gas this week. Uh, th this whole fucking thing with this. Uh, I, I, I'm really getting close. Several people have suggested to me, Hamma, why don't you just put these buildings up on your new land in Florida? And, and I'm really thinking about uh, th 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 this whole fucking project has gone completely crazy. Uh, I still have to get the goddamn buildings down. I am, uh, with each passing day, I'm getting less and less likely to move these goddamn buildings uh, to New York. Uh, which, uh, moving a 26-foot truck with 10,000 pounds of lumber from Florida to New York. What, can you imagine what the goddamn gas bill? I'm supposed to leave here on April fucking 5th. April 5th, I chose uh, uh, to pull out of Florida in a 26-foot truck with 10,000 pounds of cargo in it. Completely lost my fucking mind. Uh, I have no idea what is going on at Bugs in a Jar Farm. No, uh, no fucking clue what is going on with my house. Uh, up there. I have no idea if I even have anybody living in the house. If by any chance the person who I'm thinking is living in my house is listening to this rant, I sure would appreciate a phone call, brother, uh, letting me know that you're still in the house and I still have a house. I, I, I don't have any fucking idea what is going on in New York. I have no one to uh, help me unload this fucking truck in New York, and, and then I'm supposed to figure out how to get these goddamn buildings up the side of a goddamn mountain. I'm, I'm about this fucking far from, from just canceling this entire fucking ridiculous... Uh, w w what the fuck am I thinking? Every fucking sign from the universe, every fucking sign from the universe is telling me, do not bring this load of lumber to New York on April 5th. So there is no fucking telling what is going to happen with this, uh, w w with this fucking harebrained scheme. But anyway, I'm just continuing t to buy land in Florida. Yes, little dog? 
What do you think we own? It's major squirrely. Uh, we got squirrelies and we got armadillas up here. We got squirrelies and armadillas, both. He is an armadillo hound. We have no armadillos uh, here in the Point Lonesome Swamp. It's too wet for armadillos uh, out here in the swamp. But we're on Woodpecker Ridge. The land I'm buying is in Woodpecker Ridge, Florida. So I'm going from the Point Lonesome Swamp to Woodpecker Ridge. And I have a phone call coming in. Bye, guys.